I think uh, my next project is going to be a really large fly cutter. Got a nice piece of 1144 stress proof here. Somebody kindly donated to me. It's two and a half inches. That'll make a nice fly cutter. Starrett blade cuts pretty darn good. Nice cut. Two and a half inch. 1144 stress proof. Hopefully it machines pretty pretty good. We'll see.
Not as hot as I thought it was. I'm running about 105 degrees. Would be hotter than that. So it is after midnight. I think I'm going to call it a night. Make quite a few chips. Walking on the popcorn here. Made quite the mess. But that's what it takes to make some tools. Good night for tonight. Alright folks, uh, always one to admit my mistakes, because now I'm just learning anyway. But uh made a mistake when I was doing the calculations on this fly cutter. As you can see I had a nice groove milled in it. Uh, this cutter it's actually got to be on the exact center line, and uh, it wasn't. Center line is way over here. Uh, I think I could do a lot better if I learned how to do some kind of drafting or 3D modeling program that would crank me out some kind of a drawing. But uh, just a, just a mistake I made. So machining off the entire thing. Look, luckily I made it big enough where I've certainly got enough room on this giant monster of a fly cutter, but uh, what I'm going to do is move the center line over to where the cutter actually falls on the center line of the uh, of the uh, fly cutter, so just a mistake that I made luckily I got a big rough and end mill here, I'm going to continue hogging it out and get it back down and start over again, so I'll let you watch a little bit of that <laughs> to the bench and have a look and see what we got so far. Well, 
Here's what we got so far. Large scale fly cutter. Pretty much based on this small version. We do have it machined right down the center line now. At least that's going to work. All I got left to do is to tap and drill the holes and it'll be ready. So here we go. I hear Zeke acting up. Must be predators on the brow. Here we go. Drilling the uh, holes for the taps. Tapping at 5 sixteenths by 24 reds. Holes all tapped. I'll do a little countersinking. I should do it. Well, and there's the finished product. <clears throat> it's got a, uh, I think it's like a half inch bit in there, lay a bit. Show the other. Well, here's the specs on this thing. It's two and a half inches across and it uses a uh, three quarter inch uh, collet to hold it. So uh, we're going to give it a try see if she cut anything. Here we go. Give this thing a try here see what she does. Got a nice finish on it. Oh, come on now. Well, come here. Come here. 
What you want? What? Well, talk to me. Get that flea. What? I don't speak. What? What is it, boy? What? Is Jimmy stuck in a well? Huh? Is Timmy in a well? Huh? Is Timmy stuck? You need rescue? You need fire rescue? You want me to follow you? You want me to follow you? Would you like to eat first? <laughs> is Timmy in a... Is Timmy stuck in a well? Is that what it is? Yes? What are you trying to tell me? Does Jimmy need help? What? What is it? What is it? What is it, boy? What? The hogs out there? Hogs eating your food? Does food, does food have anything to do with this? Food? Food? You sure? All right. Well, sit. 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 Can you be nice? Right. What? Smell like a dog. What? All right, let's find you a treat. Want a treat? I just want to be sure. Is, is Timmy stuck in a well? <laughs> no? Nobody needs rescuing? All right. Well, here we go then. Food time. Food. 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 You want a treat? You want a treat? Sit. Beg. <laughs> Alright, I'm just tormenting you now. Show me some tricks. You got any tricks? Alright, here we go. <laughs>